does this do? Can I hit it? Okay, so it lets me back into the boss room, and it looked like there was treasure. A lot of treasure. Stone skin is a very good when you are bad at dodging. It is good when I'm bad at dodging, but it also increases my damage, so it's just like a twofold buff. It constantly drains my uh, my uh, uh, is it my rage? Yeah, my rage. But. I mean, whatever, I don't use my other abilities anyway. Okay, so a bunch of souls and uh, an artifact, so double souls. And here's the door out. Okay, I don't think I missed anything in this uh, dungeon. I was pretty thorough. Wow. If I'd had the uh, grappling hook and didn't get grabbed by spiders as soon as I showed up, I would have been right at the boss. So now that I have like basically all the abilities, I'm definitely going to be doing some backtracking at some point, uh, whether it be on screen or not. And uh, collecting all my missing life and abyssal armor. Wrath cores, all that fun stuff. If uh, anyone in the chat knows of any quickly accessible uh, abyssal pieces or health cores, please let me know, because I'll definitely go get those before getting too far in the story. Because I'm pretty sure now is when I'm supposed to be doing all the backtracking anyway. I know I still have to do Astraga and the Dark One, but... Below Samael? Okay. There's something over here, too, if I remember. Because there was a, a bomb pee, or a thing I can't get to, but can I get to that? So how do I break this, then? Because I have to break that to get to a jump point, a grappling hook point. But I don't really see any way to do so. And I can't break this with my glove. Any thoughts, Beaverbeard? <laughs> or maybe it's a thing I don't have yet or something. Let's let's look through my inventory here. Okay, Shadow Flight's my glide, Serpent Holes is my fast travel, Chaos Form, uh, Block Counter, which I never use. Pressing just before impact. Uh, Chronomancer and Ruin. I don't have all my abilities, but none of them break red crystals. These are just consumables. I am missing two pieces of gear and equipment over here, but one of them might be the completed abyssal armor. Maybe. And I'm missing something here, actually. So, maybe. Missing two enhancements and four legendary enhancements. 
and only eight artifacts. Oh well. Like I said, off stream I'll get a lot of this stuff. Okay, Volgrim, upgrade my stone skin for me. And accept my artifacts. So there's still Bane, which I don't care. Well, generating nat Wrath naturally over time could be really good. It'd be better if it was generating Chaos uh, improved, but... First and foremost, uh, stone skin, level 2. I can't afford the level 3. That's fine. I can't get the next upgrade on my scythe, and I don't care about the fist because I don't use it. I never use block counter. Ricochet haze could be good. Wrath shard. You know what? I've been because I've been using a lot of wrath. I am gonna use this wrath shard because that'll give me another core. There we go. Now I need ten thousand for that other wrath core. Possession instantly increases War's Chaos level to maximum. Ooh, that's really good. And Undying Crystal. Ooh. Basically, like an Auto Phoenix Down or a Fairy, I guess. Empty Vestal. Empty Vestals can be filled with many beneficial properties and consumed. Example, consume Life Essence to restore health. But how does that work? Like, I get... I get an empty vessel and I have to fill it somehow, maybe with extra... Is it a permanent buff or is it like instantly consumable? Do I keep the empty vessel when I've used it? So many questions that I don't have the answer to. Okay, well I can't afford anything else right now. Empty vessels let you hold another consumable item. So... Wait. But I can already. Oh, okay. I understand. It op it adds another slot for my consumables because right now I can only hold four consumable items. Gotcha. Okay, so it's not that great. So if I was using a lot of consumables or buying a lot, it would be useful. But where I'm not, I'm just going to ignore it. Okay, so let's go to the Scalding Gallo. And go get the treasure underneath Samael before I go see him. I mean, the items are kind of busted, but I find they make normal difficulty way too easy. I mean, yeah. I just also, I don't want to waste my souls on consumables. There's a lot of abilities and upgrades that you can get that are permanent, and I would always, 100% of the time, go for a minor permanent upgrade over a temporary buff. You like Silitha? Well, I mean, sorry dude. <laughs> So below Samael. So can I just like jump down there? No, no, that was not the answer. It's probably a path though. Ow, that was rude. And for that, I grabbed your face. It's just the punishment. It's just the way it is. Sorry, dude. Excuse me. 
Sorry, looking for treasure. You guys need to stop. Oh, it never got turned on. Okay. So I gotta figure out how to get down here below a semi -L. Well, now I have a cutscene to watch first. I was beginning to worry you might not live up to your end of the bargain. Give it to me. You lied to me about the Chosen. They never guarded the tower. What does it matter? Our deal wasn't for ancient history. I promised you the tower, and you shall have it. He really likes hearts. Deny me what's rightfully mine. With my powers restored, I am like unto a god. I can suck the marrow from your bones before you drew another breath. I could. But I too have a code by which I do business. Besides, say what you will about balance and your ridiculous law. I recognize a quest for revenge when I see one, and revenge I respect. As for the details of my resignation, <laughs> well, I do not approve of the company my master keeps. Why did you challenge the destroyer, Samael? See your journey to its end, horseman. You will understand soon enough. You trust him? Who knows where in the Nine Hells this portal will take us? If he wanted to kill me, he would just do it. We will meet again. Okay, but can I come back? No? Damn it. I needed the treasure. Oh well, I'll take a serpent bowl back once I get there. I hope. There's nothing over here. Why is this even an option? The Black Throne. Alright, I'm gonna turn around and go right back. I don't remember how much is left of this game, but it's very possible that leads to the final boss. Or at the very least to kill Straga. And uh I guess there's also still the Uriel Uriel I have to deal with, at least from a story perspective. So I don't think I'm at the boss, the final boss yet. I think there's still plenty left.
But I also know there's a couple quick treasures I can get around here. And, uh, I don't want to miss out on those. The entire game is 20 to 30 hours of gameplay. Yeah, but I don't know how long I've been playing for. Abyssal Armor Piece. I think I'm missing two. Missing I'm just going to ignore you guys for a minute. Ow! That was rude. Let me just climb up here. Uh, okay. There's enemies over there, but that's nothing. I'm going to do a quick back crack. Back, back crack. Back, uh, backtrack. Because I know where there was two grappling hook points that are very close to here. So I'd like to tidy those up at least.